All right. Uh, so the protocols and everything I teach, I teach three levels. Civilian, law enforcement, or security, and uh, military. Uh, for civilian, we do combatives, which is your kickboxing, your grappling. Uh, the primary focus is fight, survive, and get away. Right? In a civilian setting, you should not want to fight, not teaching people to get in fights. Right? So you want to stun and run. Get out. Uh, when we get to law enforcement and security, a lot of the people who train with me either work military, law enforcement, security, uh, some guys want to get into movies, uh, so there's stunt stuff, but uh, a lot of the guys who train with me have been street fighters, military, law enforcement, security, so everything I teach has three levels, civilian combatives, law enforcement and security control tactics, and the military termination. For the law enforcement, I have three priorities. One's to, uh, law one, it's three laws safe. Law one is to control and restrain. Primary goal in law enforcement and uh, security is to subdue the opponent. Um, security, you want to subdue them until the cops come. Uh, law enforcement, you want to subdue them so they have a day in court. Because even criminals have a day in court. They have to have a judge decide what happens to them. The police officer shouldn't be deciding what happens to them. Combat is level two, or law two in the three laws safe. Uh, when a person is being combative, resisting, going for your weapon, number one is empty hand combative. Number two is uh, impact weapons, which is batons, or you know, a lot of times law enforcement have batons, or uh, aerosols and, and stunning with the uh, tasers, right? So combative is empty hand, impact, and stunning. And then term termination, law enforcement will have a duty knife and of course their gun. Uh, we use the duty knife as your backup um, when we're coming into law enforcement. A lot of times they'll have on the kit, uh, the belt, they'll have like a knife, the baton, the gun on the primary hand, right? And then you pull out your knife and you have your knife as your backup in case I'm in a tussle and I need to pull my knife I might have to use my knife. Of course, law enforcement and military, if somebody's using lethal force, your primary option is your, your, your gun, right? Knife is the backup, it's not the primary. Uh, come here, you know, if I'm in a situation in a law enforcement kind of setting, and you know, I have a good, lo uh, a good holster that, that protects from just some guy trying to grab it, it's got, it's got a lock that it, you know, it's a little harder to get out. I might have access to my knife if he's, one, presenting a weapon or going for my weapon, right? Once that happens, if he's presented a weapon or he's going for that weapon, one, one way to prevent him, this is the other thing, duty knife is a backup gun retention when it comes to law enforcement. Because somebody is going for my weapon, if I have a good lock, it's hard to get out. Then I'm going to push in and down, maintain. I have my backup. Get off my gun or I'm, I'm terminated. Get off now. Back up. Down on your hands and knees. Right? <clears throat> but if he's got in, he has a hold of this, right? And I have my duty knife. Even if I had a baton, which I don't have access to at the moment. But I could even pull out my baton and I can use it here as I'm going. And as I have him tied up, I put the push down and hold it tight so he can't pull this out. I got my head butts, I got my elbows. I'm gonna kick, right? And then get back, right? Yeah, you can give me that as if it was a baton that works. Thanks a lot. But, <laughs> right, now this would be on in a baton, you, you, you uh, hit, you swing for it to expand, right? So I'm gonna expand it, but he's got this. Now, depending how I pull it, if it's this way, I can go that way, if it's this way, I'm gonna use the pu puño or the pommel, right, headbutt. Now, I have my finger on his thumb, I'm gonna pry the thumb to get him off my weapon, right? So as he's grabbing here, whether I'm pulling a baton out of my kit, uh, using the pulling off, if I have it in reverse grip, then I'm going here to kind of control the backup. When I pull off, I want to be able to pull down, right? And I'm gonna maintain this 
till I get him roll on your belly, belly, down to the belly. Come to this position, all right? Try to grab a load of weapon. <laughs> Handcuff, boom, you're out. Okay. So, the three priorities that I teach are civilian, right? And we started with that, right? First one, stun and run. Right, when we get into control tactics, right now I want to get him to a position where I have him in control, right? And termination, right, when I get him into a position, she will be the camera a little bit, here we go. Give him a little spinal adjustment, right? So everything I teach has three levels, right? My combatives, my control tactics, right, whatever that is, and then the ability to terminate, right, the base of the skull. You want to end it, knock him out. Now I'm going to say this, and any law enforcement control tactics instructor will tell you this, don't go to the ground. And then they'll spend the entire rest of the time training on the ground. I promise you, Gracie Jiu Jitsu, Gracie Combatives, Gracie uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, everybody that teach actual active law enforcement will say, do not go to the ground. Now, if you do go to the ground, you gotta learn how to fight it. But you gotta learn to stay standing. Civilians, you stun and run. Law enforcement and security, you control. Military determinant. Martial arts to be effective needs to be scalable. And a use of force escalation. If he's empty hand, I go empty hand. And I don't go to terminate drunk uncle. You know, drunk uncle's fucking around and I don't go, Ash! right? I don't go, ah! you know, you know, my drunk, I, we, we don't want the, you know, my dad just died, we're at the funeral, and drunk uncle's getting stupid. We don't want another funeral, right? So use of force, I don't kill a drunk guy that's being stupid, drunk family member, empty hand fight, I'm not terminated. He pulls a knife, a stick, or a gun, then all bets are off. Civilians, though, stun and run is your primary. Law enforcement, control and restrain. Uh, we'll get into bouncing stuff a little bit in a minute here. Um, those are the three primary things that I teach.